Let's talk about a, a positive and negative power supply. So I want to have a positive 5 volts and a negative 5 volts to ground here or to this reference of zero here. So in order to do that, I, I have an, uh, this is actually an L7805 and it's just a 5 volt uh, voltage regulator. Now on these, if you put uh, this side here to positive uh, and the ground goes to negative, you'll get 5 volts uh, positive out over here. So you can put between say 8 and 12 volts here and you'll get your 5 volts out over here. Now this is a, this one happens to be an, it's an MC7905. Uh, uh, the 5 is the 5 volts, and the uh, the 9 on here says that it's a negative uh, regulator. So, if these were just standalone, you'd put the negative uh, side of your battery or power supply over here, and you take the ground and you put that to the positive side. Okay, and then you'd get a negative 5 volts out over here. Now, in order to tie these two together, to give us a positive 5 volts and a negative 5 volts, and uh, 10 volts in between them here, we need to uh, we need to have a, a transformer over here. So I've got a 120 volt transformer down to 20 24 volts uh, AC, and uh, we're just coming into this bridge rectifier. We're creating our positive for the input over here and our negative for the input on the uh, on the negative uh, voltage regulator. Now, this ground has to go negative. In order for it to work and this ground has to go positive in order for it to work so what we're doing is we're taking the uh, negative and positive here and we're center tapping the transformer here and it comes over to this point here now and that's our that's going to be our our common or our ground point there zero of reference and then we these capacitors here are uh, these two can be fairly small capacitors these are actually uh, I have got a hundred mic uh, thousand microfarad capacitors in these two, and uh, I didn't even put these in this circuit that I'm going to show you, but uh, these have to be fairly large. And so, <clears throat> what's going to happen here is this for positive and negative here. This is going to be our negative voltage for our ground on this side, and this one's negative and positive here in this direction, and it's going to be our positive for this ground over here. Okay. These two are tied together in the center here, and are center tapped off of that so that the uh, the voltage is going to be the same. So this is how we're getting our our grounds. Otherwise, one has to be a negative ground, one has to be a positive ground. So we're center tapping the transformer, coming over to the center of these two uh, uh, capacitors that are tied to the positive and negative rail here. So we'll see if this thing actually works. We got uh, DC voltage here. I'm going to turn the unit on, and I've got it hooked up to the positive side right now. I've got 5.05 uh, volts on there. Now I'm going to take it to the negative side. And I have uh, 5.06 volts on the negative voltage on that side. And then let's uh, go from rail to rail here and see what we get. Ten point uh, ten point one one volts. So, and I got it negative because this, I have the the leads backwards here. But uh, that's a uh, the dual voltage or positive negative uh, power supply and some op amps uh, need this configuration to actually work so uh, they're fairly simple to put together and uh, that's it thank you